Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, looking again at the appointment of, of Jack Smith and, and David Weiss, th this double standard of, of justice couldn't be more glaring. Uh, Jack Smith was deeply involved in the IRS scandal that targeted conservative uh, political groups to harass. Uh, his malicious prosecution of former Governor uh, uh, McDonnell was unanimously overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court. Chief Justice uh, Roberts rebuked Smith directly for attempting to, to criminalize political activity. You appointed him to prosecute Joe Biden's chief rival for the presidency. And then we have the appointment of David Weiss. Weiss deliberately allowed the statute of limitations to run out on any charges that could have implicated Joe Biden in influence peddling. Uh, he originally offered Hunter Biden a sweetheart deal that was ultimately upended by the court. And he's the one you appointed to pursue the charges that could implicate Joe Biden. That leads me to only two explanations, either corruption or incompetence. So wh which is it? Those are the kind of questions that judges would rule out of order. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you would. <laughs> Which is it? Look, uh, I, I said uh, before, and I will say again, Mr. Weiss was the Republican appointed United States attorney appointed by well, but, but President this, Trump. This, do, you at least, do you at least see the obvious uh, double standard uh, applied in these two appointments? Mr. Weiss was a Republican appointee. Mr. W Mr. Um, Smith is uh, not um, registered to either party. His entire I, I career was as a career prosecutor. Are. I'm not well, asking what their party registrations like are. I'm standard. asking about their records and how those records would commend them to the appointments that you made. This is a question of judgment and it's a question of motive. Yeah. What was motivating you to do this? Mr. Smith had a nationwide reputation for integrity uh, and for uh, oh, please, appropriate prosecution. <laughs> His work can be measured by what he actually has filed. Everyone in the country can see the indictment. How can you that say that Those... after he was so heavily implicated in the IRS scandal or, or the rebuke that the Supreme Court gave and many other examples? But let me go on. We've had two uh, uh, IRS whistleblowers inform Congress of attempts by, by senior Justice Department officials to obstruct the criminal investigation into millions of dollars of ill-gotten and undeclared income to Hunter Biden. They noted several deviations by department officials from normal process that provided preferential treatment, in this case to Hunter Biden, a direct quote, including allowing the statute of limitations to lapse, requesting IRS and FBI management level investigative communications, prohibiting investigators from referring to the big guy or dad in witness interviews, uh, excluding the investigative team from meetings with defense counsel, and notifying defense counsel of, of pending search warrants. The U.S. Attorney's Office even tipped off the Bidens of an impending search of a storage unit where their records were being kept. Now that sounds an awful lot like obstruction of justice to me. Was that coming from you or from somebody else? I'm sorry, I don't under, was that coming from you? I don't, I don't understand the question. Uh, all of the actions that your employees took to obstruct the uh, investigation of Hunter Biden and the tax earnings that he uh, made and the taxes he failed to declare their source, and ultimately who they were paid to. I'm, I'm going to say again with respect to the Hunter Biden investigation that it has been and still is in the hands of Mr. Weiss, an appointee of President Trump. I don't know about all of these allegations. Some of them appear to have been from the period when um, the Attorney General appointed by President Trump was still the Attorney do, General. Do, do, do these, do these uh, charges trouble you at all? Mr. Weiss will have an opportunity to explain the decisions. Well, you're the guy made. in charge. Does this trouble you? I have intentionally not involved myself in the facts of the case, not because I'm trying to get out of responsibility, no. but because I'm trying to pursue my responsibility. Your, your uh, FBI director testified before this committee of an uptick in, quote, known or suspected terrorists coming across the southern border. And he told us that the southern border represents a massive security threat. Those were his words, a massive security threat. Do you agree? I am I'm, I'm perfectly happy to align myself with the director of the FBI. 
Well, why is it then that we, uh, senior administration, rescind the Trump era uh, orders that had secured that border? I mean, we've seen an exponential increase time in the suspected terrorists. Time of the gentleman has expired. The witness can respond. He chooses. I mean, this is a, the answer to this question about um, 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 uh, immigration law is an extremely long answer. I would defer to the Department of Homeland Security, which is responsible for the physical security and about first contact at the border. With well, we've tried to get answers from him, and he doesn't give them to us, so we we're, were hoping you would. Uh, I understand, Mr. Uh, Attorney General, you've requested a short break, so we'll, we'll take a short break and resume in five minutes. Okay. Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Johnson, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney General Garland, uh, great to see you. Thank you for your service to the nation. And uh, the nation watches as the Republicans have no answer for why they want to uh, focus and obsess on uh, Hunter Biden receiving $2 million for, uh, from Burisma uh, after serving on a board that he said he was not qualified to serve on, but yet, the Saudi Arabians gave $2 billion uh, to uh, Jared Kushner, who conducted Middle East strategy for his dear old uh, uh, dad, Donald Trump. Uh, he got $2 billion uh, for something that he is not uh, equipped to do, which is investment banking. And so Republicans looking at uh, Hunter Biden instead of, uh, instead of uh, Jared Kushner, Americans don't understand uh, how that could be. And they also are uh, increasingly alarmed about the fact that the Republicans in control of the House only seem to have three objectives. One is to uh, impeach Joe Biden. Uh, number two is to shut down, uh, uh, is to impeach uh, or get rid of Kevin McCarthy, actually. And the third is to shut down government. And a subset of that is to defund the DOJ and the FBI uh, for trying to uh, hold Donald Trump accountable. Uh, so the American people are watching that, and they also appreciate the fact that you've had a distinguished career uh, as uh, a prosecutor and a DOJ official, as well as 24 years on the bench. Uh, you served on the second highest court of the land uh, as a judge for 24 years, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. We appreciate your service. Uh, you were, for seven years, uh, the, uh, the, the lead, uh, uh, you, you, you were the, uh, you managed uh, that entire uh, office. Uh, we thank you for that. You also served on the Judicial Council for a number of years. And so you are steeped in the rule of law, you are a judge uh, extraordinaire. And um, as a judge, you never had the occasion to uh, receive uh, a uh, private jet travel to an exotic location by a corporate billionaire, did you? You can cut your mic on. No. You never received an offer to, to get a ride on a private jet? No. Did you take any vacations at exclusive resorts paid for by a billionaire? Uh, I, I know these are not hypothetical questions, and I think uh, this I mean, is really yes not no. within my uh, uh, realm, uh, uh, of course. Uh, I mean, you were a judge extraordinaire, and you know the rules of ethics for judges because your bench had to... Uh, was covered by a code of conduct. Is that not correct? Yes, all the, uh, all the judges, uh, uh, federal appellate and district judges, are covered by the code of conduct. You would never have had somebody to uh, pay for your godson's tuition uh, to private school. Would Again, I, I, don't, I don't want to answer these kind of hypothetical, at least well, for me, they're hypothetical questions. Um, what I would say is that I always as a judge, and, and I've said this before and quite publicly and long ago, I always held myself to the highest uh, standards of ethical responsibility imposed by the code, uh, mm -hmm. and, I, and uh, that's really all I can answer here. And it's required that judges and justices avoid even appearances of impropriety. Isn't that correct? 
again, I, I know you're asking this both hypothetically and not hypothetically. All I can say is I followed the code of, of, of judicial conduct and it includes avoiding appearances. That's well, right. let me ask you this question. Um, Senator Whitehouse and I sent a letter to you alerting you to the fact that we were asking the Judicial Council to refer the matter of Clarence Thomas being in violation of the uh, Ethics and Government Act to the Justice Department. And after that, uh, uh, Representative uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, along with myself and others, requested that you take that matter up directly. Uh, have you responded to either one of those letters? And if not, why not? And what action have you taken pursuant to those letters? I, I, Gentlemen, may I respond? Um, um, I assume that if you sent the letter, we have it, and I'll speak to the Office of Legislative Affairs about where it is at this point. Is the, uh, the department time the investigating? Has, the time the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr.